the first of the pillars have gone up. Though much work remains, the dwarves of the rack of torches here in the deserts have made good time, as not even a full year has gone by since their wagon first stopped in the dunes. Now, with food, drink, bedding, and prayer taken care of, they can move more fully into creating the blocks required for their grand construction. Hello, and welcome back to our little dwarf fortress over here. Uh, as mentioned in the intro, uh, we should have the drinks at least taken care of. I'm fairly certain we have food not being the biggest of issues either. Uh, let's actually uh, zoom in a little bit for a moment. Here we go. Uh, so if we take a quick look at what is in our pasture, uh, we can see that we have roosters, we have uh, ducks, we have mules. We don't really have anything that could make milk. That's unfortunate. Maybe an alpaca. An alpaca can make milk. Uh, this is female. Okay. Uh, so we don't actually have that much. We could have some uh, meat, if need be, with these animals, however. So I'm not too concerned. Um, otherwise, it, the farm could, uh, that we made in the last episode, way down here, um, it could be turned into, uh, making us more, uh, more food with the plump helmets. Uh, we could just spew out plump helmets like crazy in the hopes that we have enough. Uh, but we do have cave wheat growing currently, so I'm not too, too worried. The cave wheat, uh, wheat, sorry, could be used to uh, be milled up and then turned into um, turned into food of some sort. Let's let's queue up milling plants. Actually, I'm curious now. Do we have any ready to go? Uh, we do not have any millable unrotten plants. All right. Well, that's that that may be an issue. Um, let's not worry about that too much. We do have 30 food. It is late summer. Actually, let's use this to go back to the top. Here we go. It is currently late summer. That means that uh, the autumn months are coming up quite quickly. Um, and we will be able to sell things uh, to a trade caravan that might be passing by. So let's see. We have some drums and some hammer bits made up. It's not really, really what we want here. Um... Yeah, if we take a look, we're still lacking some stuff. So let's uh, actually start production of something uh, to to sell because that will be useful quite soon, I think. Uh, we're going to make it out of rock. And we're going to make just a bunch of crowns for the time being. Okay, let's let's let that go. Um, ideally, I'd have them make make these out of something else than siltstone, but realistically, right now, I don't think we're going to have a lot of time. Let's go back down to where we had set up a bit of a mine. Aha! So, um, we have pretty much cleared out this entire area. Ooh, I'm a little bit more uh, pressed for time than I thought. So, what we're going to do is we're going to queue up a little bit more digging so that we can um, so that we can have some more stone for our crafts and for the pillars that we're building. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so that's ten. Uh, let's make sure we have it approximately the same here. So that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're just going to keep the pattern for no real reason other than aesthetic purposes, I suppose. There we go. And we are also going to queue this up. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, hopefully I didn't just skip a block, though I may have. It's not the end of the world. As I said, it's just aesthetic in nature. And they should come down here and start digging this out eventually. Uh, sleeping, drinking, making crowns, making blocks. Mm, okay, we should set at least one dwarf to doing nothing but mining, I think. Here we go. Right, now, if we take a look here, we should have a ridiculous amount of blocks, which we do. We also have these uh, staircases leading up to 
the 40th level. So what I'm thinking might be good, considering we have these stairs all around, and considering we can actually walk through diagonal portions, I'm going to just select this, go up to floor 40. Uh, not including floor 40, because I do want the floor to be here. So let's go up to 39 and queue up a bunch of siltstone blocks. So what I'm going to do is put it in like a cloverleaf pattern around it, I guess. Uh, or cross uh, pattern around it with the staircase in the very center. I think that'll have a nice uh, aesthetic effect, at least to my eyes. Here we go. So siltstone once more, go back down, go back up, 39 siltstone. And this may be a little dizzying for you guys. Um, I'm very sorry if that is the case. Here we go. So we're going to make pillars like this in all the other three directions and then also start queuing up uh, pillars here. Hmm, I'm not exactly sure how we'll do it. I, I don't think we'll be able to do it as easily as these. Actually, here's a question. Can I just go ahead? No, move. Yeah, I, I, it can't be set through an existing uh, staircase is the word I was looking for. Here we go. And we're going to go back up once more. Select and siltstone, go back down, and once more. And this is going to be a little monotonous, and I don't think too demanding in brain power. So I'm just going to uh, go ahead and ask you guys, uh, how how have you been? Uh, this this should be quite a bit since uh, the kind of winter holidays for you guys with this. Uh, is coming out so it's probably like February if my if my uh, quick maths are correct uh, so it must be either past Valentine's Day or close to that uh, so if it has if it has passed how was your Valentine's Day if it has not passed um, I hope you're looking forward to it what are you doing and if I am completely confused and Valentine's Day is not in any way in February, um, just uh, go ahead and uh, like and subscribe to this video. Uh, yeah, that's that'll show me. That'll definitely show me. Uh, and this marks the first time I've actually told anyone to do that in any of my kind of gaming videos. And I have run out of blocks. Fantastic, probably for the best, as I don't know where I was going with any of that. So we're about to find out if my plan was good or if it completely sucks. Here we go. Uh, and yeah, it seems to work. They seem to be able to go diagonally. Fantastic. Um, which does mean that technically speaking, if they're like up here and they could get knocked out by someone else, um, I'm not going to worry about that too, too much. Suspended the construction of a wall, I'm sorry. Resume. Okay. Yeah, I just realized. But they are able to come in and out, and that's the main the main concern here. There we go. Um, there is a chance that the walls are... Um, we have more blocks for walls, so let's go ahead and see if we can set more up. Yes, we can. Very good. Here we go. And once again, uh, let's set this to 35, siltstone, and we actually have quite a bit of chert, I'm realizing. Ah, okay. Let's let them do their thing for now and take a look at this petition. So this petition is to eradicate monsters. Uh, fantastic. This is Ak. Worshipped livid. Okay. Uh, sure, Ak. Welcome to the... Welcome to the uh, fortress. Um, I don't think you'll be fighting very many monsters because I haven't opened up the um, underground passage. And I'm realizing that there isn't enough blocks here. Um, okay, why would that be? Let's see, we have two children who are storing items in stockpile. That is fine. Uh, yeah, <laughs> they're actually moving massive boulders. Uh, sure. You know, I think I think it's good. It's good for a child to be able to uh, learn to move 
absolutely massive boulders. Um, you know what I just realized while taking a look over here? I have these four things here that I intended for them to be like pillars up. Um, there's no way for any of the dwarves to actually have access to this. Hmm. Okay. Struck tiger iron. More tiger iron. All right. Um, so what I am going to do... I'm going to not worry about that for now. These four here, I'm just not going to worry about that. Uh, they are aesthetic, and we can come back to it in the... I mean, this entire project, realistically speaking, is aesthetic. Um, we just want to have fungal stuff at the top uh, for no other reason than we want to have them at the top. Uh, but there are some things that are more aesthetic than others. So we should at least start moving towards our goal. Uh, let's go ahead and place these here. We're going to stick with the siltstone for now. Uh, we can also place this over here. Uh, siltstone and over here and siltstone. Just let that go as such and we may be surprised with a little bit of fung fungus at the top. I have no idea. Uh, in a previous um, a previous fortress, oh wait, I'm just going to wait for the saving to be done here. So yeah, in a previous fortress uh, that I had done in the past, um, there was this weird natural formation where there were like these uh, uh, messy, noodly, spaghetti uh, pathways up in the air for some reason. I'm not too sure why that would be. But the end result was that it was growing fungus underneath. So the hope is that just putting a kind of a roofing over this area over here will be enough for it to give us confirmation that we can indeed use this as a method of filling this entire area with fungus. Um, if we can't, well, I mean, that completely changes our plans. <laughs> so we'll have to we'll have to deal with that when we get there. Uh, how are these crowns going? Not very well. They are making crowns, but I think most of the dwarves... I'm sorry, are you currently bringing a block from the downstairs all the way up here on your own? Okay, uh, we have three wheelbarrows, and most of them are being used right now. Okay, not sure what's happening there. I guess they ran out of stone blocks. Yeah, they're picking up stone blocks as we speak. So I guess they uh, ran out of stone blocks. Uh, yeah. Okay, we need to... Oh, fantastic. I was just about to say we need to cut off some of these block making. And it looks like uh, they're doing it on their own. Well, that's not the best, but it's not the worst news we could have. So how is my... Uh, my miner should be coming and digging at any moment now. They have indeed ran out of stone blocks. Um, well, I'm not actually getting that many stone blocks here. Oh, this is the 24 year old with two lovers, right? <laughs> the mother of two children who are hard at work right now. Uh, we no longer have crowns. Uh, okay, so let's take a look at her skills. Uh, she is a skilled miner. I'm not sure if when you increase the skill, if you get more, uh, you know, blocks, if you get less blocks, if it's completely unrelated. So, um, yeah, we have someone still making, coming down here to get blocks. That's not, uh, not blocks with boulders. That's not the best. Um, I would really like us to, yeah, just set all my miners to mining. We do actually need to get more stone going and we can open up a new little area here uh, let's just make a two by two then make it open up as such here we go and once over here and i have no idea how long it is let's say this long and then just start i think that's too long it doesn't matter it doesn't matter here we go just do that i guess yeah it definitely is too long but that's fine we're going to have access to a whole bunch of blocks once these dwarves are finished digging. Uh, that's the main thing here. Okay. All right. Uh, so as we were saying, um, the main importance is that we do get some blocks. I have no idea if the skill level of the dwarf 
influences that in any way in either direction. Um, but we are getting just a bunch of stone. Oh, here we go. This is what I was hoping for. So we are now uh, in early autumn and we have attracted ourselves a uh, trade caravan. Good, good, good. So technically the first trade caravan that will be passing through our little oasis here. Um, and we're going to have, ooh, our wood car crafter is actually better than our expedition leader at some of these, some of these skills. We're going to have, yeah, the wood crafter there. And we're going to go back up to the surface real quick. Here we go. And we are going to start moving all of our crowns in. All of our many, many, many crowns. Oh, why don't we? Uh, we don't actually have that many. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else we can sell? We could sell some cloth, I suppose. Um, oh, there's an idea. Tiger iron. We could quickly set up a little thing to cut these gems. There's an idea. Let's let's do that. So let's make a sandstone and just let someone come here. They should be moving the crowns first off, but after that I'm hoping they'll build this and we can cut some gems, because that should sell quite well. Okay, so the expedition leader, Vukar, meets with the outpost liaison, Fath. I am your liaison from the mountain homes. Let's discuss this situation. There is much to share. Oh, okay, there's information added to civilizations and world info. Wonderful. And now, what do we need at this fortress? Considering our main goal isn't to actually deep, dig deeply into the ground, I think we're going to need... Um, oh, you know what might be interesting that I hadn't really thought about? Gold. We could... Can we ask for gold? We can't. I can't see it anywhere. I, I see rose gold. There we go. Uh, but I don't see, like, proper gold anywhere. We could ask for silver. We can we can get silver. Uh, what else? We are going to eventually have wood, but we do not currently have wood. So we're going to see if we can get our hands on some wood as well. Uh, if we scroll down to the bottom, okay, they are definitely not in alphabetical order, which I kind of realized, but like hadn't let my eyes rest upon this long enough to really figure that out. Uh, wood. It's right above the metal bars, obviously. Yes. Fantastic. Uh, we are going to ask for... Hmm, goblin cap is quite interesting. It's like a reddish wood. So we're going to ask for this. A goblin cap and uh, silk bars. And they're hoping for rings and tanned hides. Well, that's really unfortunate. <laughs> we don't have either of those. So what we will do is cut some gems and just let someone do the cutting for a while. Yeah, someone's already doing that right now. All right. Uh, and here are the, here are the merchants coming to the trade depot. Fantastic. And if I scroll up here, they have actually gotten to the point where they have made everything we were, we have set up. Oh, that's very nice. Fantastic. Okay. So, uh, we have a cushion tiger irons. Hmm. And we have some more rough uh, tiger irons over here. I'm going to wait for them to do this one and see how much they're worth. Like, oh, I can just do it this way, actually. 40. Not the best, but not the worst. Okay, let's let's put cut gems. Yeah, 40 each. Let's drop those in. We should have some dwarves coming over to put them in here. There we go. And we're going to request our trader. And we're going to initiate a little trade. Here we are, just queue everything up real quickly. And we have 194 in value. Hmm. That's not that's not very much at all. But it would be enough for logs. We could get all of these logs, which might be useful down the line. Uh it, ooh, it's really not worth much, eh? Hmm. Alright. Um a horse here. We can't buy it. We can't buy anything. We could buy a cabbie cell. Hmm. Oh. Oh, I remember what we needed. Food. Okay, 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 okay. Let us just scroll down like crazy and meats. Okay. 
Uh, let's take all the non... Oh, some of these prepared things are actually quite cheap. So let's take some of that. Uh, let's actually take all the cheap prepared things. Some of them sound absolutely horrific. horrific. Uh, here we go. And some... Some uh, here. Here we go. That, that should be enough for now. Trade there. Uh, so we do have access to a little bit of meat now for our for our dietary needs and a lot of wood. Great. We have successfully uh, done a trade. There we go. And we are going to queue up more flooring here. As such, uh, siltstone and siltstone. I have lost it. Here we go. And I don't know how much more we can do. 29, we might not have enough for the next... No, 22. All right, let's just leave our dwarves to that for now. We do actually have this dwarf uh, still kind of cutting these gems, um, which could be useful. Uh, we could do another little trade with the, uh, the caravan here, or maybe we'll wait a little bit. Um, still to be determined i think all right um let's take a look up above again uh, now that the dwarves are building and they are actually building quite quickly okay here we go they're doing quite a good job here i can see that our food situation has improved um i'm not sure if this will be enough to get us to the next winter uh or rather the next autumn but we are we are doing pretty good. 70 70. Uh, we should have cave wheat going and stuff. Actually, let's take a look back down here. Uh, real quick. Here. Uh, so cave wheat, haha. So that is what I was thinking. The kern uh, should be doing some production now. Here we go. Just do your thing. And I just realized this human is just sitting there not really doing anything uh and f as we look at the kern we can see that we have cave wheat we have a pigtail bag and how will this um how will this play out are we going to get some seeds back from this i wonder or if we were already no we would already have the seeds back if if it was just from picking it up so this should be what we need to turn it into uh flour and seeds okay any minute now i don't think our dwarf is very skilled at milling yet so it might take her a little longer and as we're waiting it seems that we have had a birth nope not a birth it's just the goose that has grown up okay let's see the milling process is taking a lot longer than i had realized it would um once that's done, you can go ahead and start brewing up some drinks with the, with the, um, you know, the, the, the spawns, um, the plump helmets, rather. <laughs> so I forgot the name there for a moment. So once you've finished with the current, you can go back to doing the plump helmets. This is taking a lot longer than I realized. Okay. They are still at it. All right. Well, we'll leave them to that. We'll leave this open and go back up to the top here for a moment uh, so we can still see like what happens. And we're going to just scroll on up to this. Oh, oh, they're already done here. Okay. Um, I was going to say scroll back up here to, <laughs> to look at them complete their floors, but they, they, they're already done. Uh, we now have a stray reindeer cow fantastic and there she's still milling ah there we go cave wheat seed cave wheat seed cave wheat seed and she got more seeds than she used up the wheat and we have a bag full of flour very very cool this is a dwarven wheat flour bag it is made from pigtail cloth fantastic um one moment food stockpile in mill barrel okay 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 that's that's fine uh, we oh we also have some migrants arriving. Well, everything happened all at once. Um, I am not going to turn them around. 
I decided that we in this fortress were just going to work with what we have, including a, you know, if what we have is just a ridiculous amount of dwarves entering the fortress. Um, so I, what I am going to do, however, is go over here, go to the kitchen, and cave wheat can be turned into drinks. No. Um, we don't want it to turn the cave wheat into drinks. We want uh, them to turn the flour into food. So yeah, flour can be turned into food, and that's a renewable source of food for us. Fantastic. Here we go. We're gonna go ahead and prepare meals as well. Um, maybe it's time to set a new uh, cook down here. So let us go to labors and go to our cook stuff. And let's see. Uh, let's put our glass maker on that. And ooh, let's just leave that here for now. Maybe get the thresher. Um, to also be a planter. It might be a little bit overkill, but I won't uh, set this other cook and this other planter to force them to do nothing else but that. Um, ooh, okay, wait. I select this, Dabbler Miller. Okay, she is literally the only one with any skill. But for planters, I have one of my miners that's actually quite good at planting. That's interesting. Um, but it's just dabbling, so I don't think it's it's that important. All right, let's let's just leave that to that for now. Um, go back to play, and we're probably going to have another cook run down here and take care of these things soon enough. Uh, we still have the farmer just doing. You know, I like having their own little farm house right here, uh, the best house in the entire <laughs> the entire thing, uh, fortress rather. And we do have a bunch of space to pick up all these blocks, or rather we have a bunch of boulders to pick up, is what I meant to say. Uh, let's see, we have quite a few of these tiger iron. Oh, you know what? Let's, uh, let's put all these in and see if we can, like, just pinch out a few more trades uh, before the caravan leaves. Here we go. And three... Oh, we were too slow. Okay, well, they're heading off now. Uh, that's not the end of the world. They'll be able to come back next time. There we go. And we are going to... Ooh, look at this. So our dwarves have actually been bringing stuff back here. And because the dwarves aren't... Oh, no, 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 no. I went too quickly here. Because the dwarves uh, aren't going as far for their blocks right now, uh, they're able to... Um, just pick it off the surface here so it's going a little bit it'll go a little bit faster rather so here we go let's take the blocks siltstone and just let that run uh, so we should be getting siltstone blocks a lot faster now wonderful uh, let's just go back up here and actually I've noticed uh, there is no new there's no new fungus growing here I'm a little concerned um, it might be that it only works if it is naturally spawning the things that are above. Uh, that would be, that would be a problem. <laughs> I'm not actually sure what I'm going to do with that information if that is the case. Uh, but otherwise we are about to find out together if that is the case or not. So let's do this all the way over to the ends in both direction and I realized there's one block that I didn't actually have to place there uh, so if I'm fast enough I'm going to just tell it cancel here we go cancel that there we go and yeah there's still no fungus growing down here uh, but red radish red well, I'm sorry dead red spinach okay so there might actually be things able to grow at the surface here. This isn't as much of a desert than I first thought it was. Like, if you go into the map mode, this is very clearly a large desert. But I guess it's more of an arid sort of area than a desert. Oh well. Um, it, I'm sure it's still going to be a welcome sight to see this massive thing up in the sky. <laughs> uh, near the dwarven... Uh, you know, the, the 
on, on the way to the Dwarven capital. There we go. So we're going to set that up and this up as well. Siltstone, Siltstone. That was 15 each. Okay. We're going to let them do that for a little bit. And uh, just continue to hope, really, that the focus does indeed spread here. Um, hmm. Right. Well, anyway, for now, we're just going to let these dwarves make their blocks and... Uh, Let's see, what else is going on in our fortress? Well, we have our little ta um, temple here, and we have a little dormitory here, and they're being put to good use. Uh, we can see what I was hoping to get over here, <laughs> that there is fungi, uh, fungi wood growing. And uh, I, I, still, I still don't see any fungi wood or, or, or dense fungus at all. I am less and less hopeful that this is even possible to do, <laughs> but uh, you know what? That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, this is part of Dwarf Fortress, really. Sometimes you just gotta try something crazy and see if it fits, and if it doesn't, well, I mean, we'll still have a, we'll still have a, a roofed area out of the sun for our dwarves to um to be able to conduct their business and something that other dwarves and humans can see from far away so it's not a complete loss but uh let's let's hope that this plan does work let's see um i would like one of you dwarves to come over here if you would be so kind so that i can queue up this last little bit Okay, well that's not really happening. Um, why are you walking so slowly? I wonder. Oh, you have a block? Okay, well, Dodok. I'll let you to your block building here. Right. And I am now looking at the time and realizing that, um, you know, it's probably going to be a good time for us to leave here for now. Uh, so, let's just do a little, do a little uh, uh, look up of what we've achieved in today's episode, uh, because it might not feel like that much that we've managed to do, uh, but uh, considering we haven't even finished this little area here, but I think I think we have actually managed to uh, do quite a bit. So yeah, we have uh, managed to make most of this. Uh, beginning of this um, floor area here, roof area, to what we're hoping is going to turn into mycelial ground underneath. Uh, we have managed to make the entire pillars go all the way up to elevation 40 for uh, these four areas here. Other than that, we have managed to um, do our first our first trade. And we have gotten quite a few resources from that. So a lot of wood um, and some food that have been put to good use, I'm sure. Uh, we have managed to get quite a few blocks created. And actually, you know what? I'm going to scroll back down real quick to this area as I speak and continue queuing up more, um, more area to be dug out for blocks. Um, one, two, one, two, and uh, yeah, continue talking. So we've also managed to make sure that we indeed are able to uh, use cave wheat in a way that produces an endless supply of food. So now if we get more cave wheat, did I get, I did this wrong. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I, we do indeed have cave wheat and we have not realized that if you go to a kern and you put it, the cave wheat in the kern you do in fact get cave wheat seeds back which is very important um, we have also started making something with this cave wheat I'm not sure why it stopped a uh, glass maker prepares easy meal needs unrotten cookable solid item oh I may be lying here. Uh, we may not be able to use cave wheat as 
or, or rather the flour from cave wheat as a cooking thing that's interesting okay i'll have to look up that uh before the next session uh we we do have a steady source of drink however that is confirmed um and we have gotten a bunch of new migrants to help in our building project here uh so this is where we're going to leave it for today thank you for uh dropping by and giving this a listen and i'll see you next time goodbye <laughs>